In this Infusionsoft tutorial, we're going to be talking about Net Promoter Score surveys, or NPS. Uh, you've probably had surveys like this sent to you. It's uh, typically when a vendor or some company uh, asks you from a scale of 0 to 10 to rate them on your willingness to recommend them to friends or people that you care for. Um, the idea being is that's probably the most sincere way to get people's honest opinion about you because if they're willing to recommend you to other people they're probably very excited about the work that they've uh, that you've done for them or um, they, they just have very high regard for you so uh, the problem with these um, surveys is that it's difficult to get clients uh, even good clients to fill them out people are busy so uh, we've come up with uh, an NPS uh, survey uh, along with an Infusionsoft campaign supporting it uh, based on uh, a blog that we found from uh, Fusomatic, so we have to give them a little bit of credit. Uh, but the idea is that uh, you send people an email, all they have to do is click on 0 to 10, and they've given you the rating. So it doesn't take people more than, you know, like a couple seconds to fill the thing out. Um, and uh, this is a much better approach than to have people click a link and then get to the questions or the rating uh, because uh, people may not want to click just because they can't tell how long it's going to take. With this, it's very straightforward. So uh, I'm just going to demonstrate how this works and then we'll go into uh, the behind the scenes so that we can uh, show you how we built it. So I'm going to rate a 9 because, of course, the service that we provide our customers is extremely high. Uh, we're going to give uh, you know feedback. Uh, in box number one and then we're going to give feedback in box number two um, just so that we can tell the difference between these we're going to complete the survey we give a thank you and uh, the survey is done so let's go over here to the uh, campaign where this is built and um, just uh, show how's it going on so and that's actually over okay let me open up uh, the campaign itself and the campaign uh, starts off with um, a trigger to get things started. We have a wait in here because we're going to be sending out an NPS on a specific date. Uh, but here is the email that gets sent out to people. Uh, this is where uh, some of the magic happens. So as you can see, this is the exact same email uh, that we received here. This is built in HTML. And if you're not an HTML expert, don't worry about it. This is it looks complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. So what we have is an A link. So here's a link from there to there. The link takes you to the survey form. So this is a Infusionsoft uh, hosted web form. We pass the email address of uh, the person who we sent the email to, and we hard code the number that they clicked on. So in this case, this is the link that corresponds with this number one. If I go down just a little bit further, you'll see that here's the one for number one. So this one corresponds with this black box here. And um, so this is the exact same form, the email, and then this one is hard coded to one. So there's nothing really magical about this. What makes it look complicated is the fact that we had to do a lot of styling to get these boxes to look nice. So when people click on any one of these, the email and that number is passed to this form right here, which is the next step in the campaign. So when uh, people arrive here, there's two hidden fields. One is the email, as you'd expect. Uh, so it's waiting for that. It's waiting for the NPS value. This is the uh, 0 through 10 so that we can save it. And then we have the two questions. That's all uh, the form does. Uh, we have a thank you page. Uh, we have a very simple... Um, you know, notification, hey, someone gave you some feedback, uh, and that's it. Uh, when this form is filled out, any uh, messages that haven't already gone out are canceled. So if you send them one email and they answer the, uh, they fill out the form right away, there's no need to send them uh, the emails that are following. So you'd be nagging people that um, already filled out the form. And then this diamond is a traffic cop. Based on the value that was entered uh, based on the click, 0 through 10, we come up and we say, hey, if the context NPS result NPS value equals 0 through 10, then we want to make sure we select the right one of these so that 
people get tagged correctly. So each one of these uh, boxes in this list, all they are is containing uh, all 10 of the different tags that people could get all the way down to 10. And then finally, we just uh, added a note here. So um, every person will get client NPS score is, and then we just uh, merge in the value that they filled out. So uh, let me go over here and go into, no, let me get out of here. And I'm going to go to the uh, record that I filled out. So if you see, we look at the tags, we clicked on the nine, so they're tagged with the number nine. If we look at the custom fields uh, in the NPS results uh, heading, we have the number nine and we have the two values that were sent. And uh, the other thing that we record is a note. And uh, there you are, the NPS client score is nine. And uh, we also have, um, we mail merge in the, um, the two values that are filled in so that um, in any number of ways we can tell what the score was. The nice thing about this is that um, now you've got people waiting in the queue and then you can decide what you want to do next. Um, what uh, we're planning to do next is after we get people to fill out the form, uh, what we're going to uh, do is anybody that has a score of let's say six and above uh, we're going to send them a follow-up email and then we're going to ask them if they're if they have people that they would like to refer us to. So this is part of a referral program that uh, we have in place to see if our satisfied customers will refer us people that they know. So uh, that's the campaign we have here. Hope this helps.